developing a research proposal with a strong research problem and actionable and achievable research questions with strong research objectives is a very hectic task for a new researcher. But AI tools have solved this problem very gracefully and there are multiple AI tools which are going to help you in this regard. Developing a research proposal cannot be done in a one step with the help of a single AI tool. You have to take assistance of multiple AI tools to build a strong research proposal with your personal research and personal efforts. In this video, I'm going to explore stepwise process to develop a strong research proposal with the help of AI tools. And this process is completely free. You don't have to pay much to these AI tools. You can come up with a strong research idea with the help of these AI tools. Instead, you, if you want some more extensive features of these AI tools. The first step while developing a strong research proposal is to finalize the title or the heading of your research proposal, the problem which you are going to solve through your research. That should be strong enough. That should be addressing some kind of a genuine problem of your research area and that research should be a continued research. To develop a research idea, definitely you should know your field of research on a broader spectrum. For example, my field of study is the green chemistry and I work on the one principle of a green chemistry that is the synthesis of ionic liquids. But ionic liquids are of different types and they have a multiple uses in the industry. So I should know about specific type of ionic liquids on which I am going to do my studies and on which aspects I am going to explore these ionic liquids. To come up this idea definitely you have to do a literature survey or even you should know with some important key features which you want to have in your research problem. You can take help of the chat GPT or Google Bard to come up with a novel idea with the uh, in your research topic or you can use a platform which have been specifically designed to identify a research problem and when you create your account, you will have the options to formulate your research topic, refine your research topic and even when you have done with the idea of research topic, you can log this research topic on Avaxana and this research topic will not be accessible to anyone who visit Avaxana and the person of your field. You can do this in free and if you go for a paid version, then definitely you can formulate multiple research questions, uh, you can refine them by uh, making a comparison which Avaxana provides you and you will get a detailed summary of your research topic with the amount of research gap in that specific topic and Avaxana even suggests you either you have to make some changes in it or not. So for example, I have come up with the research topic idea, investigating amidabzole based ionic liquid as a potential antimicrobial agent for wound healing application. After coming up with this idea, now this is the point that I should know my research problem and my research questions and research objectives. This is the main body of any kind of a research proposal that what is the problem you are going to deal and in, in which steps that steps will be defined with the help of a research questions and at the end, what are the objectives? Your research objective should align with your research problem and research questions, the problem you have raised should be answered, should be deal in your research objectives. That should be your objective of the study to solve these research problems or research questions. So to validate either this kind of research is being done in the literature, people are working on it and how you find the relative literature to further study and before developing the research problem and research questions, go into the details of the research problem and research questions people are doing in past. For that purpose, you can use a SciSpace or any kind of AI tool which is providing you the data, but SciSpace will provide you quick insights that either this paper is related to your studies or not. So that will make your process of selection of research paper easy. Here we will paste our research proposal title and SciSpace will come up with the 10 papers and here are the insights of that paper. Effect of ionic liquids on silver nanoparticle complex uh, Ganadharma um, and its topical film formation and this and this. So instead of going to the detail of each paper, I will go to the insights and we'll see either this paper is related to my research query or not. The provided paper does not investigate a midazole based ionic liquid. So at this point, I can reject this paper because my main nucleus of 
study on my main compound is amidazole based ionic liquid the paper investigated the uses of amidazole based ionic liquid conjugated with the pentapeptide 4 for the antimicrobial uh, studies so i can select this paper and i simply go to dio and can download this paper and we'll go through the details of this paper that how the people are formulating their research problem and research questions in the same way i will go through another paper the paper mentioned that ionic liquids have been used in wound healing application but does not specifically investigate amidazole based ionic liquids so it, it somehow related to the link of amidazole based ionic liquids with this antimicrobial study so i can put this paper in my literature uh, on a broader spectrum so i will go to the details of this paper just by clicking on dio and then i will go through the other paper so in this way i will select the literature and i will go through the literature and that how people are formulating research problem and research question in my specific field after going through the literature and knowing the details of all the research problem and research questions people are developing in my field and going through the details of research objectives i can use any open ai tool to develop the research problem and research questions for example if i go to google bard then this tool will provide me the most latest research because when i go to the chat gpt uh, according to the prospect of research this tool give us the data that is almost two year old so we are not able to get any update in that specific topic so when you go to the uh, google bard you will ask google bard to give me the research problem research question and objectives of this research proposal entitled this 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 and google bard will come up with the ideas and i cannot follow these ideas blindly i have to check them again with the literature that either these research problem or research questions are researchable or either my lab have these kind of a facilities uh, where i can address these questions so you will you will have a list of research problem and research questions and you can uh, consult with your supervisor with your seniors and with the literature to come to the final ideas so this is the research problem investigating a metal research liquid as a potential antimicrobial agent for a wound healing application is our uh, research title chronic wound pose a significant healthcare burden globally leading to increased morbidity mortality and healthcare cost conventional antimicrobial agents often inhibit limited efficiency due to factor light antimicrobial residence and cytotoxicity therefore there is a pressed pressing need to develop a novel antimicrobial microbial agents with enhanced efficiency and reduce side effects for wound healing application and these are the research questions can amidazole based ionic liquids be exploited as a effective and safe antimicrobial agents to promote wound healing and these are the objectives so these are the evaluate the antimicrobial activity for different amidazole based ionic liquids so as we are talking as we are specific about the wound healing activities of antimicrobial reagents and we are using amidazole based ionic liquids our research objectives should be revolve around these uh, two key terms and their relationship so these are the five strong research problems and i have a choice to select any three or two from them limited information on wound specific efficiency while existing research showcase antimicrobial activity of some ionic liquids their effectiveness against complex wound microbials include biofray this is answer identity about selectivity and long term impact of beneficial microbes so this is these are the research problem these are the research gaps which have been evaluated from the previous research and these are the strong research gaps on which this research specifically is focusing on and pursuing is for the studies limited knowledge on mechanism of action understand on mechanism of action understanding the pieces a uh, precise mechanism by which ionic liquids kill pathogens and promote wound healing is crucial for optimizing the designs and minimizing potential side effects so i have a list of research questions i can extend this list to 10 to 20 research problems related to my research topic and by problems definitely i will be able to uh, identify some of them and i will be able to by matching with the literature uh, to identify which one is more close to my research according to my circumstances and according giving the answer of my targeted research problem i know that you have your research topic you have your research question research problem research objectives now you have to go to uh, evaluate the experimental part the methodology you will adopt for that purpose definitely you have to do your own research even you can ask uh, any kind of a uh, open ai to develop the research methodology for your research proposal for for this kind of a research questions but definitely that will not be aligned to your research facilities and the mechanism or a methodology you will adopt definitely you have to go for the options which are available in your laboratory for that purpose you have to go to the literature and develop your methodology and after that when there is a time to do the write up of your research proposal you can ask ask a jenny ai to build the professional outline for your research proposal you can feed it against your research question and your research uh, problem with your research objectives and this tool will come up with the very comprehensive outline 
of your research topic. So in this way, by using AI tools in free, you can come up with a strong research topic idea and even you can formulate a strong research proposal without any strong background knowledge of a research writing. If you need any help regarding the developing of a strong research proposal or to formulate your thesis or research papers or any kind of academic document, you can access us on the link given in the description box. My team is available to answer you and to help you to solve your queries regarding research or academic writing. If you have any kind of issue, tell us in the comment section. I will see you in another video. Till then, take care.